how to actually set up a Facebook ads campaign with Shopify in 2023. Today I'm going to be doing a live walkthrough of building out a Facebook ads campaign in 2023, how I structure it, what audiences I target, I'll even show you a couple ads and things like that. So be going full live walkthrough and you're kind of questioning why am I credible to be teaching these types of things? Well, my name is Nick Terrio. I've done over $50 million in online revenue with Facebook ads for my clients. Uh, if you're curious about you know, my Facebook ads agency, I have a link below called Have Nick Terrio Run Your Facebook Ads. Or if you want live kind of one-on-one -on -one mentoring, I have another link below where I have my coaching and mentoring program. Uh, my whole YouTube channel is dedicated to providing you with pretty much everything, just transparent as possible of what's working for us. Uh, my coaching, that's really for only people who hear Nick, you taught me how to use the hammer, but now I want more like actual like, or like, hey Nick, hey, you know, you show me how to throw a one-two punch, I'm inboxing myself. Well, now I want more of like crit crit critical feedback of how I'm doing that one or two. And that's where my mentoring comes in play. Okay. So uh, before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's dive into the video. So we're going to be going uh, pretty straightforward with this. Um, we're just going to go inside of our Facebook ad account. This is one of my stores. That's just kind of like, you know, I would say like my demo store <laughs> I leverage just to, um, you know, create these YouTube videos. So we we'll go ahead and hit create on our campaign. Um, now for us, we want to run a sales campaign because we want sales. We have a Shopify store and we want purchases. Okay. And just to be fair here, if you are running a brand new ad account, you're going to be doing exactly the same steps. Okay. This does not only apply to seasoned stores. This is for brand new accounts and accounts spending a ton of money. Okay. The way we run an accounts from zero dollars a day to you know the most I've spent in a day is a hundred thousand dollars on one Facebook ad account is exactly the same. Okay, so we're gonna click on a sales campaign right here, and we're gonna hit continue. Now I'm gonna do a manual sales campaign, okay? Because we the way our strategy works, it works better on a manual sales campaign. Um, there's nothing against with Advantage Shopping Plus, but what Advantage Shopping Plus does is it forces best practices of going broad and focusing on building ads to improve performance, okay? Our current structure that I'm gonna show you guys in today's video is going broad, single campaign, and focusing on ads to, to improve the performance, okay? So that's why I'm gonna do a manual sales campaign because I know exactly what I wanna focus on. Now, when I hit continue right here, this will pop up. Um, first off, our campaign name, um, really, you know, you can put whatever. I like to put my agency's initials. And I'll just call it like prospecting, you know, nothing biggie. Um, doesn't really matter, the campaign name. And yeah, and I'll type in WC because it's website conversions. And then I'll put CBO because it's campaign budget optimization, okay? Now, we're going to turn on Advantage Campaign Budget, okay? This is going to come out, give you a daily budget, all right? Now, here's where you want to kind of look at things, okay? So for daily budget, I honestly recommend nothing less than $100 a day in 2023 at Facebook ads. Like if you're spending less than $100 a day on Facebook ads or can't afford to spend more than $100 a day on Facebook ads, I honestly just don't recommend Facebook ads for you. Um, I would go and focus on building organic followings on TikTok. I would also focus on leveraging more content creators and influencers and stuff like that, okay? Um, $100 a day, that's only $3,000 a month on Facebook ads. And it's really not a lot, okay? Um, you know, it's just, it's with current conditions of more competitive space and stuff like that, like anything less than $100 a day, it's just, it's just not a lot of money to leverage, okay? So I recommend $100 a day. If you can spend more than $100 a day, that's great as well. Um, but whatever budget you set, you want to set a budget that you do not go lower than for 30 days, okay? So for example, $100 a day, I'm willing to spend $3,000 for the next 30 days. So in your mind, you need to mentally part away emotionally from that $3,000, okay? Put that $3,000 to the side. If you burn it, that's perfectly okay, all right? You need to part ways with any emotional attachment from here, okay? All right, next thing is our ad set name. Now, we're gonna be building out our main ad set here, okay? Our main ad sets, we're gonna keep all of our winners, okay? All of our winning ads, okay? So I'm just gonna call this main zero, um, you know, just whatever, main. Um, we're also gonna be targeting USA. I only recommend one country per campaign. So the country you start off with is gonna be either A, the country that you already know works for you and drives 70% of your revenue, 
or B, the country you want to start in, you have high confidence and conviction that that country is going to give you the best results, okay? Now, our particular product is for both male plus female um, and 18 plus, but if you have a product that you know for a fact with data that, you know, female 21 to, to 30 is what's your primary demographic, then you'll put, fem you know, female only in 18, you know, 21 plus, okay? Now, we're going to be doing broad targeting, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we're going to be doing automatic placements, okay? And I'm going to optimize for purchase, okay? So I'm just going to type in O per. Now I'm going to come in here and I want to click on just websites. Um, I personally don't really do the shop, you know, just don't really see it. Uh, performance goal, maximize number of conversions, conversion event, purchase. So regardless if you have a brand new store or if you have a seasoned store, go with purchases, okay? Because what it is, is this conversion event purchase right here. Facebook has already segmented people by purchases, even though you, they don't even know about your brand yet, okay? So targeting different groups of people can have dramatically different results, okay? Facebook already bucketed those people that are purchased. So when I create my ad and target purchases, I'm putting my ad already the most likely to perform, okay? Um, you don't need to go and do initiate checkout and all that or view content first. Um, simply purchase objective, okay? Boom, um, I'll leave default seven day click, one day view, nothing great. And then dynamic creative, we're gonna leave off. I will be creating another ad set in a second with dynamic creative, okay? But we're just gonna leave this off for a second. All right, audience, again, we do no audience targeting. The only thing I do is exclude and I have to do purchase 30 days, okay? Very simple, just create new custom audience, website, next, and then da da da. And then just select purchase right here. 30 days and then boom, create your audience and it's selected. Okay, again, you're just excluding purchases 30 days, okay? USA, because that's who we want to target, age 18 plus, genders all. Again, if you have a specific age group, then boom, boom, or you, you know, location, add that in, okay? Then automatic placements, okay? Now I'm gonna click next here. Now, I'm gonna show you guys something interesting. So I'm gonna click next and then I'm actually going to come up here and hit delete on this particular ad, okay? Why? Because you'll see in a sec. All right, boom. And then now I'm just gonna close this out and then I'm gonna click review and publish, da da da. And then there we go. Okay, so now I just created an ad set with zero ads, okay? That's perfectly fine, all right? Now I'm gonna click on this and I'm literally just gonna hit Control and D and I'm gonna duplicate that ad set, okay? Now this ad set right here is gonna be my very first creative test. So I just like to type in 001 or, um, you know, sometimes I'll use like 101 right there. Um, just whatever you wanna name your first ad test, okay? All right, I have an ad concept ready to go for this video. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Then I'm gonna come in and turn on dynamic creative, okay? Because now we're gonna create our first dynamic creative test, okay? Again, I'm just gonna double check all of this. Sometimes when you make big changes, like typing in dynamic creative, um, it'll affect things, but all this looks good. All right, now I'm gonna go right here. If it doesn't have an ad already populated, I'm just gonna hit create ad, da da da. All right, there we go. Now we have our ad under here and we are good to go. So I'm just gonna call this 001 dynamic because it's a dynamic ad. All right, I'm gonna make sure my Facebook page is selected, make sure my Instagram account selected. Uh, Multi-advertiser ads, you can leave that on. Now here's where we're gonna start messing with things, okay? So we're gonna turn off optimized creative for each person. We're gonna turn that off. And then you wanna select your videos. Because it's a dynamic creative, we're gonna select three videos, okay? So off one, two, three, all right? These three videos are or photos, depending on what you're gonna do. You're only gonna do three photos or three videos, okay? And when you do these, you're gonna have one variable different. That's the key here. I'm gonna show you guys the creative in a second too, so just so y'all can see as well. Um, let me go ahead and just go ahead and cop, pop in the URL. Again, guys, like this is literally like a test store app right here. It's nothing fancy at all. So um, if you go like take a look at it, it's nothing sexy to copy over or anything like that button, call to action, shop now, domain for the website events, make sure it's your domain selected. And then for UL parameters, if you're not on TripleWell, I highly recommend you be on TripleWell. Um, TripleWell only works with Shopify stores and Facebook ads and allows you to accurately see what ads are working in the account past the 14.5 data issues in the ad account. So I'd put my URL parameters in here so a TripleWell can copy or track the ad, okay? so. Before I actually go a little any further, I want to show you these three creatives really quick. So you'll notice, um, let's just click like on this one really quick. 
you'll notice that it's the same creative, same video. All I'm doing is changing um, one variable, okay? And the variable that we're changing for these is the creative headline. And the creative headline I have on here is um, that kind of uh, you know, TikTok style comment, okay? Uh, so I have this one right here. They're all 15 seconds or 14 seconds, but they all have a different creative headline. So this is creative headline one. This is creative headline two right here. You can see, how do I see my part of their feet? Da, da, da. And then boom, all right, there we go, okay? So something else I'm gonna do right here is I want to select the thumbnail, okay? Now the thumbnail, I like to pull, I like to do manual, and I like to do the first frame between one and three seconds, okay? If it does not populate right here, opening it up on your computer, take a screenshot, and then just upload an image. Very simple, okay? But you're always gonna do that first frame, okay? So that way we, when we test new hooks, whether it's visual or text hooks in this case right here, we're also gonna be testing new thumbnails, okay? Thumbnails, honestly, they play a small portion of the impact on performance, but I like a consistent way so that, that way we have less variables, okay? Boom, there we go. All right, again, if you're a, a frame between one and three seconds isn't shown up on manual, take a screenshot on your computer and upload as a PNG and there you go. All right, so we have three videos, all exactly the same except one variable different, okay? Um, another way I could have done this is I could have had the same visual hook on all of them and just a different, uh, or same text hook and just a different visual hook on all of them, okay? So all three have the same uh, text hook, but just a different visual hook. I could have done a different different uh, angles of which I film this particular girl. I could have done different girls, like one girl per video. Could have done a few different ways, okay? Another variable could have been the call to action, where it's the same video, but all three of them have a different call to actions where you don't even see it towards the end, okay? Now, you will never put uh, videos and photos in the same ad set when testing dynamic creatives, okay? All right, you will never do that, all right? You will have a mixture of winning uh, videos and winning photos in your main ad set, okay? This is just your testing ad sets, okay? And you will always do the same ad concept, okay? The same ad concept per um, dynamic creative tests. So this is a 001, 001, the ad concept was called TikTok comment, okay? So I'm only doing this one concept per, you know, this is one concept for this DCT, okay? If I had three other concepts to test, I would test all three and eat another DCT. So a DCT02 for concept number two, DCT03 for, you know, concept number three, okay? Now, when we get to the primary text right here, okay? And also make sure to optimize creative for each person's turned off. When I get to primary text right here, we're going to be including one, you know, winning body copy. And then we're going to have new body copy. Okay. All right. Now, if you have a fresh account and you don't have any winning body copy yet, then just do two body copies that are new. Okay. Now for headline, we'll have a new headline and then we'll have a winning headline. Okay, and that winning headline is the same one that's correlated with this winning body copy. Okay, and a new body copy and new headline. Okay, so you have two create, uh, two, three creatives, two body copies, two headlines. Okay, now we got everything. Everything is good. All right, this looks good. Now, obviously, I would put obviously I would put real copy in there, but just for this particular video. Okay, now I'm gonna hit publish. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually have our first dynamic creative test. Okay. So what I'll do from here is, let's just let this kind of load up for a second. What I'll do here is I'll run this DCT now for a couple of days. So let's go back to our campaign really quick. Um, so here we go, here's our DCT. Now again, we don't have any winning ads yet because we need to find winning ads, okay? If you already have winning ads in the ad account, you can just move them into this main ad set and you're good to go. But for a lot of you guys watching this video, you're probably are brand new and you probably don't have winning ads yet. So that's why we created this particular ad set right here um, to start testing ads. Once we find winning ads here, we'll move them into our main ad set, okay? So let's just say, for example, we ran this for a while and this whole ad set tanks, okay? 
then we'll we'll turn it off and then we'll launch a new ad set okay so we'll literally just um i'm just gonna for the sake of the video pretend i'm just making a new ad set a whole new approach and everything like that then boom boom you know we add in all of our new stuff whole new test right here da 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 boom all new creatives stuff like that we're doing a new test and then publish all right just pretend for the sake of this video okay so we'll turn off one because one didn't perform and we're launching two now okay because one didn't perform so you see i'm not turning off the campaign this is where a lot of people make a mistake at all right is that they oh campaign didn't perform let's turn it off and launch, launch let's launch a new one no we keep working in this campaign until we make it profitable okay because the creatives is what drives the performance, the creative, the copy, um, the, the, the messaging you're amplifying, okay? We tested about 300 ads for one account within one year to find 30 new winning ads, okay? So basically one out of every 10 ads you test, one out of every 10 ad concepts you test, that's going to find you a new winning ad, okay? So just full transparency right there, all right? So let's say, for example, for O2, we ran it, we ran it, and it performed amazing. And I'm gonna go over KPIs in a second for like when I'm turning these things off and turning things on and stuff like that. Let's say we ran this for a little while; it just performed absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see Facebook posts with comments, and I'm looking at overall performance for the ad set. And I don't know if it's gonna show yet. Let's see; it, it probably won't, but we'll see. Okay, so like, what it'll do is it'll show your. Um, a list of ads right here and it'll show it by most likely to succeed and perform okay so the one that was most likely um that performed the best so let's imagine this had a couple hundred dollars to spend on it and then boom it will show you the ranking okay another way you can do this is go by breakdown and image video see what image video worked the best breakdown um by you know text see which text worked the best and then headline will work the best okay now that'll give you extra confidence to see now a lot of you guys be like oh nick well this headline performed the best but it didn't get shown and then you'll show me a headline with like five dollars in spin and like one purchase and had a really crazy ROAS. that's false i'm not looking at things with great ROAS. i'm looking at things with the greatest spin the greatest spin and hitting my target cpa okay if it's barely any spin and hit my target cpa that does not sing like i didn't um you know indicate success for me okay that just shows that hey this ad worked well but only on a low budget i'm looking at things with a lot of spin and hitting target cpa that's a winner for me okay so when you open this and you kind of see like your your ads in that case and it'll be it'll ranked by order of uh what performed the best I'm gonna click on this little time right here, timestamp, because what I'm gonna show you guys is how to pull the post ID, okay? Now, here's where things get a little interesting, all right? Because it doesn't always, you know, Facebook's been having a lot of glitches lately. So what I like to do is first off is remove this business dot right here. I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways around this to pull the post ID. And then you can see right here, it's still not showing the post ID correctly. So I'm gonna click this one more time. And then there we go, we got videos, okay? This is the post ID I need, okay? Now, let's go into our main ad set. Again, assuming O2 performed amazing, I'm gonna go ahead and create an ad because I'm pulling the post ID. Um, and just make sure it's my right campaign, da, da da you know, winning ad, ad number one. There we go, continue. Now I'm gonna click on ad setup and I'm gonna click on use existing post, okay? And then I'm gonna enter post ID and then I'm gonna paste it in right here, okay? Ah! Now this is interesting here. It's giving me an error. Okay, that's good because I want to actually show you guys another way to do this. I'm gonna click on View More Video Details. Okay. Now, this is another way to do it. And let's give it a second. I'm looking for. I want to say it's this one right here. Content ID equals, and I'm just gonna copy the numbers. Okay. Now let's try this and see if this will work. And there we go. Boom. So just another way to pull a post ID that has worked well for us. I'm gonna go ahead and select this and then there we go. So now we have winning ad one. You can see right here, I pulled the post ID from the dynamic and I'm just gonna hit publish, okay? If you have a, and again, you're looking at the success of the dynamic creative test, okay? The whole ad sets in general, okay? If I have a couple winning ads in that dynamic creative test, then all I'll simply do is I'll just pull all of them right there. So now we go back to prospecting main and we have our first post ID inside let's just double check really quick there we go cool 
So, and then there we go. And then once this starts taking off and getting spin, then I can turn off my dynamic creative test because we don't, you know, technically we found the winning ad, but now we can just, move, you know, let spin, let it spin the main ad set. Okay. Now again, we'll launch one or two new dynamic creative tests every single week or, or two to four new dynamic creative tests every week. Okay. What I like to look at is I like to look at like, let's say for example, today is Monday. Okay. I launch two new DCTs. I'm gonna let it run for two days. So if I launch it on Monday at 12 a.m. and I'll run it till Tuesday, um, you know, or Wednesday at 12 a.m. Okay, it's 48 hours till run. All right. If they spend more than one X my AOV, so whatever my AOV is, one times that, and they didn't get any purchases or not hitting my target CPA again, target CPA that I'm looking for, then I'm gonna turn it off because it's not a winner. Okay. Now, if it barely spent anything over those couple days, that also shows that Facebook didn't like that ad, okay? It didn't resonate with people, it didn't perform well. So we're also gonna turn it off, okay? Now, a third thing is that it spends a lot of your budget and it's performing amazing, that is good, okay? Because now Facebook is having confidence that, hey, this ad's doing really well, we wanna reward it by spending more on it, okay? That's why we like to spend on a CBO. We let Facebook dictate, dictate the budget control, okay? So now Facebook's rewarding it and starting to spend on it. Then we said we can pull the post ID, we'll still leave that DCT on till it starts taking off in the main, then we'll turn off that DCT right there, um, and then we're good to go. Now again, I'm just gonna keep launching DCTs. I launch two to four, every single week regardless of performance and i'm consistently testing new ad concepts you know if you, if you go look at my youtube videos look at like market awareness um you know like market sophistication things like that i'm testing new ad concepts um i'm not just testing the same ad concept over and over and over i'm testing a lot of variety of new ad concepts um regardless of your performance keep testing two to four new dcts every single week because what's going to happen is is that when performance does start to tank likelihood it's your ads that just haven't been you know like really performing well and you need to introduce new ads into that account right there so but yeah that's very straightforward that's how i run the ads that's how i set up the account and everything like that um hope this video was valuable to you um a couple other videos on my channel definitely recommend you checking out is how to scale facebook ads in 2023 i talk about like my scale rules and stuff like that also to have another video on like you know target cpa and stuff like that highly recommend um it's something like how to scale your your shopify store to seven figures in 2023 um, another really good video right there to watch for like target cpa numbers and stuff like that so but yeah guys thank you all so much for watching this video hit the like button hit that subscribe button for new videos every monday wednesday and friday and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace out